up with a number of really creative, incredible ideas. And I think the fact that so many people are here to see what they've done is a real testament to the creativity of the students' work. What we have, uh, the way that today is going to work is the students are going to present their pitch for their project in one minute each. So you're going to see that over this next hour a one minute pitch from each of the student projects. And then at 5 o'clock, we're going to break, and you'll get a chance to walk around and talk to the students and see any of the posters that you'd like to learn more about. We have a number of great jurors here today that I'd like to introduce. Uh, so we have Christian Sinceri, who runs the Interaction Design Program at the California College of the Arts. Uh, Peter Norvig from Google Research. Uh, we have two famous alums of this class. We have uh, Akshay Katari, one of the Pulse co-founders, and Julie Zhu, who's from Facebook doing interaction design. Uh, David Kelly, who helped make this building happen here as one of the jurors. And Don Norman, uh, writer of many design books, is also here. So you'll get a chance to get some feedback from some great folks. Let's get those around the floor. Shopping list solution for the 
designed to let you add items to your shopping list whenever and wherever you think of this. So let's say you're at your desk and you remember you want to pick up some Christmas goodies. Now, you don't want to get out your phone and type everything into that tiny keyboard. So what are your options? You can make a mental note, but we all know how that goes. Or you can write on your hat, or a paper note. Some people even send themselves email reminders. But why would you send an email to yourself when you send an email directly to your shopping list? That's the idea behind checking it once. Send an email with the items you want to add to the Check It Once robot, and those items will be waiting for you the next time you open the app. We've built the Check It Once app to be as easy and simple to use as possible. Your list of various colored items is easy to edit them on the fly, and you can see the history of items you've bought in the past. Making a list? Go check it twice. Check it once. <laughs>
But I'm going to party later. Can we stream play music for both of those moods? Yeah, not only that, but it can create your custom playlist to smoothly transition between them. <laughs> <laughs> mood stream harnesses the power that music has to sway your mood. It can match your current mood, or you can use it as a starting point to <coughs> gradually shift to where you need to be. So if you're feeling up, feeling down, angsty, cheerful, ecstatic, or anywhere in between, plug into mood stream. We'll play it for you. Have you ever been on a party or at the bar and find it really hard to meet new people? How do we even try to even kind of conversations? Thankfully, we now have Icebreaker. Hi, I'm Icebreaker, a mobile app that helps you or that helps find common friends and interests to give people something to talk about. All you need to do is log into Facebook and I'll handle the rest. Let's see how I can help my friend Alex here. He just moved into town and he's at a party. Certainly. Uh, let's see. Hey, there's a guy over there. He uh, has a few common friends with you. He's also a huge fan of Pixar. Sure. Hey, there's a guy named Alex who uh, is also a huge fan of Pixar. He wants to meet you by the bar, huh? Interfriendship. 
If you have things to do, you're not alone. <laughs> shy guy has a problem. Shy guy is shy and afraid to ask questions during class. His professor doesn't know that he isn't following and keeps lecturing, so shy guy eventually uh, keeps falling behind. Eventually, shy guy also starts surfing Facebook because he's bored. Doesn't that sound like a typical college student? How about this problem? We present a chart, an application that collects students' questions in real time and presents them to the lecture to the person who is the lecture. With chart, the students can post questions anonymously, see the current question list in the question field, and upload questions that they would like to see answered. The professor can see the top three questions that students want answered, so we can gauge what students are understanding and what their answers are. Chuck is designed to be extremely simple and intuitive, bringing a whole new level to the fun and interactivity of the class. So, to check out how we are going to create, to connect our professors and students, how we're going to encourage class participation, and how we're going to finally finish Facebook from the classroom, <laughs> come check us out and check us out.
my email every day. Most of the mail I get is completely unimportant. Some I'll leave at a later date, and a few require a response. But when I see these emails on my phone, I almost never deal with it then and there. I'll wait till I'm back on my computer, I can sit down and put thought into how to respond. But in the time in between, I forget about these emails. I'll eventually lose them in my inbox. And I'm not alone. We've tested smartphone users and found that they don't flag email because they don't know how. Because the process is too complicated. Our application solves this problem by providing a simple, uncluttered interface for browser mail. And on top of basic email tasks, you can also flag messages as needing to be replied to soon, later, or just to keep for future reference. And since we sync with our users' Gmail accounts, the changes are reflected back on their computers immediately. Larry now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben, and I need to 
And I'm Lauren, and I'm attention buddy. And I'm Bobby, and I'm clearly distracted. <laughs> hey, Lauren, uh, I really need to study for my final for the next two hours. Can you send me reminders by like text or phone call that every half hour? Sure. I can call or text you for every half hour for the next two hours. Hey, last. 29 minutes later. Hey, Ben, check out my pirate hat. Ring, ring. Hey, Ben, just calling to check how your work is going. Keep up the good work. Right. Need to study. 29 more minutes later. Yo, Ben, look at this uh, monkey. He's <laughs> five times. Uh, text, let's see. Oh, back to work. Later. Sweet, I'm done. I wonder where my studying has gone this quarter. 